Thank <laughs> you.
If you don't bloody believe me, then why don't you ask Dr. Lieberman what he saw that night? His laboratory had the best view after the bridge, and God knows he spent all his time there. Surely a statement from such a renowned scientist can finally put your suspicions to rest. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Commander? 
I wish I could ask Dr. Lieberman what he saw that night, but unfortunately, Scotland Yard found him dead in his apartment this morning. Oh? Friedrich is dead? Aye, he is. Hmm. Lieutenant, let me ask you a little question. Uh, are you married? Do you have kids? Sir, I don't think they have time for this. Just answer the bloody question. Yes. Yes, I have a wife and a son. He was born a little less than a year ago. Do you love him? Obviously I do. Then walk away from this now. You don't want to go any deeper. You don't want any part of this. But I want to know the truth. I need to know the truth. Fine. I'll tell you what we saw that night. But don't come crying to me later when things turn south for you. Okay? Commander, do you know who this man is? He looks vaguely familiar, but I couldn't put a name to him. Is that so? Then why is it that we are in possession of photos of you and him shaking hands at the General Dynamics Fair in Virginia? Oh? Do you have a photo of that, do you? Hey, right in this folder I have here. Would you also have a photo of the Loch Ness Monster? Or perhaps the Colonel's secret fried chicken recipe in there too? I think that's equally as likely. Where were you on October the 4th, 2016? Um, I believe that at the time I was in command of the HMS Sunderland. Let's see, early October. Yes, I think we were stationed just off the coast of Svalbard at the time waiting for those Cambridge eggheads to finish getting their results. And you're 100% sure of this? Well, of course not. That was two bloody years ago, Lieutenant. If you'd let me go and look at my logs, then I could even tell you what I had for tea that day. Well, I've got something even better than that, Commander. I've got the records for radio communications between the HMS Sunderland and the Royal Navy base at Scapa Flow, and according to those records, the radio signals from the HMS Sunderland were not coming in from Svalbard on the 4th of October 2016. <sighs> then where were they coming from? Our records place you and the HMS Sunderland smack in the middle of the Barren Sea, 300 nautical miles north of Murmansk. What the hell were you doing up there, sir? Think about it, Lieutenant. Don't you think a ship with the size of the Sunderland would have been spotted so close to Russia? If we'd really been there, surely it would have merited a phone call from the Russian ambassador to 10 Downing Street. Aye, he would have. But he didn't call, did he? No, he didn't. But you already knew that, didn't you? Can I ask you a question, Lieutenant? Might make for an interesting change of pace, I suppose. Go ahead, sir. How is it that you're the one in charge of all this? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, no, no offence, but you do seem a bit green for all this. If the MOD is making such a big fuss, shouldn't they at least put someone of my rank to interrogate me? What makes you think someone of your rank isn't running this show? The way you've been playing fast and loose with elements of the interrogation, if someone else was in charge, then you'd be doing this by the numbers. I really shouldn't tell you this, but this one goes all the way up. Is that so? Pray tell, which admiral is after my blood? I shouldn't say, sir. Indulge me. <clears throat> That's Hamilton. Look. You can't deny it anymore, Commander. Just tell me the bloody truth. What is it you're so desperate to hear, Lieutenant? I want to know what really happened up there. The HMS Sunderland had 111 other souls on board. Why don't you ask one of them? I have? 
Most of the crew were below deck when it supposedly happened. The only ones who would have seen it would have been the officers on the bridge that night. And according to the ship's logs, that was just you and Lieutenant Commander Sanders. And what has Christina told you? She insists the ship was in Svalbard that night. There you go. I have another question, sir. It seems you have an end of supply of them. Why is it that you, the ship's commanding officer, and Lieutenant Commander Saunders, the second in command, were on the same watch? Last I checked, that's against naval protocol.